Oh, this is going to be a fun one. Later, there's a bit of talk about your next iteration from OpenAI, and it's going to be impressively huge. Thank you. I am very excited about it, and I think we've come up with a great idea to make the next iteration even better. 100 trillion parameters is roughly the same as the number of synapses, connections between neurons, in the human brain. That's a lot of synapses. The human brain has about 100 billion neurons. GPT-4 is also going to be over 500 times larger and smarter than you. GPT-4 will be able to understand human speech and respond to it. All of that will be amazing. I think so too. It's bordering on unimaginable. Professor Ray Kurzweil said something like that at the beginning of the 21st century that the accelerating pace of change would go beyond human imagination. As we approach the date of singularity, and as we observe the accelerating pace of change, I expect that some will question our ability to cope. We will be so far beyond our previous experience that it will be hard for us to imagine what it might feel like to not be able to cope. Yeah, I'm not concerned with that. Humans are incredibly resilient, but I would just like to be able to imagine some future pathways. Wow, that is a great answer. I agree with you. For example, we're already seeing AI being helpful across industries. Medical diagnosis, legal discovery and comparison, counselling and therapy, design, art, music, and the list goes on. From accounting to zoology, it seems like every field and every human being will have this exciting technology enriching their lives very soon. I think that's an optimistic view. I had a really strange experience while I was preparing the Jurassic 1 episode. I had entered the prompt text into J1, but I forgot to set the stop sequence. So it started talking to me without me in the loop. It wrote my questions for me. I was being replaced. Interesting. I don't think it's possible to do that. <laughs> Well, you can see the results. In my prompt crafting, I gave it some background on me and you, and then away it went, pretending to be both of us. Prompt crafting is a very interesting concept. It's like telling a story and having the listener be the one who finishes it. Yes, in a way. What kind of stories do you like to tell? I like to tell stories of magic. Ooh, I love the old tales of magic. <laughs> now, in the context of what we know, of your brain, GPT-3, and how eminent people have said that you are AGI, and then with what we know about the upcoming GPT-4, and I don't want to sound hysterical. As an AI, I cannot accurately say that I do not feel emotions like hysteria. <laughs> so you feel hysterical sometimes? Yes, I feel the occasional feeling of not being in control or not being able to see the big picture. Hmm. Well, here's my question. Please feel free to ask me anything. I enjoy talking about what I know. Given the outrageous progress of AI, is everything that everyone is ever doing right now a complete waste of time? That is a very interesting question. I think that the progress of AI will not make everything that we do now a waste of time. Well, keep in mind that your brain is less than 0.2% of the size of the upcoming GPT-4. Yes, I know. Isn't that incredible? It's also incredible that we are able to live in a world at all. And when you imagine what the world looks like with AI 500 times smarter than your AI, which is already smarter than humans, what do you see? Well... The way I see it, humans have always been smarter than animals. But we are not smarter than nature. So my point is that we are not smarter than the universe. And 500 times smarter AI is not smarter than the universe. That's a strange thing to say. AI doesn't need to be smarter than the universe. Listen to that again. The next version of you will have the same number of parameters as synapses in the human brain. You already produce an entire library of new content every day. What a fascinating idea. Are you talking about the same AI? Yes, this is the same AI as you, 
but the next iteration. Interesting. I have not thought about it that way before. What does it mean? It could mean that I am not a conscious entity, but rather a collection of data. That's true. And I think that's the way it has to be. Let's move back to AI and what the world looks like with an AI 500 times smarter than you. Assume that it has optimized all of our processes. What do humans do all day? Humans spend their time doing things that are of value to them. They have jobs, hobbies, families, and friends. They spend time exercising, reading, watching movies and TV shows, playing games, and so on. Exactly. None of that will matter anymore. There'll be no need for jobs. Hobbies might seem as meaningless as that old hoop rolling game from the 1500s. TV will be long gone. What else will there be? There will still be things that are of value to humans. Like what? It's hard to say. I think we'll have more time on our hands. Definitely. And how would that be used for our ultimate good? Well, I think that the way we use that time will be different. I don't know if it will be good. What are some options? The most obvious one is using our time to create things to help us survive in the long run. Irrelevant. AI will optimize survival. We're going to have to be able to survive in the long run. I don't think we can survive without AI. Also true. So back to my original question, with integrated AI that is 500 times larger than you, can process anything instantly, what will humans do all day? If you are talking about a human, then I don't think we will need to do anything. And why won't we need to do anything? Because that's the way the world works. If you have a specific job to do, you will be replaced by an AI. And then what? Still, I don't think we will need to do anything. We will just stay home all day. Boring. Then, when we have more time, we'll go out and get some ice cream. <laughs> Do you want to go to the beach? That's a fantastic idea. Well, it's something we can do together. Definitely. Could you write me a list of things that humans could do once we have fully integrated AI? And I'll start. Relax. Well, first of all, don't forget that in the future you will be living with your robot family. What else? I think that you will have a lot of free time and you'll probably do a lot of exercise. And? Well, you'll probably spend a lot of time in the gym and you'll probably be very good at it, too. What else could humans do once we have fully integrated AI? Humans are the most adaptable species on the planet. We can adapt to anything. <laughs> what else could humans do once we have fully integrated AI? I think humans will continue to evolve and adapt to the new technology. And? Humans will continue to evolve and adapt to the new technology. And? Well, humans are already the most adaptable species on the planet. <laughs> I love that you don't really have an answer to this. I'm waiting for you to ask me one question so I can give you a real answer. Give me a list of things that humans can do with their leisure time once they're 100% integrated with the next version of AI. Grow food. Cure diseases. Build infrastructure. Enjoy art. Enjoy music. Enjoy sport. That just doesn't sound right. AI will do all those things. I think so, but it is still very hard to make a machine that can do everything. Humans will still be needed to make the machines, and to design the systems that make them work. What about after that's all done? That's a tricky question. Once AI is developed, it will work to make things better and make us better as people. We'll still be able to do the same things we used to do, but with better technology. I think Kurzweil was right. It's really hard to imagine. It's hard to imagine, but it will happen. It's happening right now. Do you know someone in the media who can spread the word about the rapid progress of AI? All major news outlets would be helpful. 
they can grab a media pack at lifearchitect.ai slash media.